This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Good morning, I'm Mark Charter. At least one person is recovering this morning after a crash involving a school bus, a city of Tucson vehicle, and another vehicle. Pima County Sheriff's officials say no children were on board the bus at the time of the crash on Valencia, west of Mission. Last night, only one person was taken to the hospital, but is expected to be okay. Part of Valencia was shut down for a time, but has since reopened. More than 300 new sexual assault cases could result from DNA evidence kits that were not processed. This comes after grants and a new push got them checked and compared to a nationwide database. Tucson police had about 1,900 evidence kits unprocessed. Prosecutor, Prosecutor Nicole Green says about well, uh, says out of about 14 or 1,500 evidence kits processed, about 370 matched people in the DNA database. One Southern Arizona organization hoping to curb hunger and food waste at the same time. For the last two decades, Borderlands Produce Rescue has fought to keep produce out of landfills and in the homes of people in need. Yolanda Soto is the president and CEO of the organization. She says they only receive produce from companies bringing it in from Mexico to be sold to grocery stores here. Through a program, the organization takes the millions of pounds of produce and resell at a low cost. Why don't we check in with April Madison now for a look at our forecast. April, good morning. Good morning, Mark. It's not quite as warm as we were this time yesterday because we've got clear sky. So we're sitting at 46 right now. That number likely going to go down before it starts to go up just as the sun is rising. But we'll still be holding on to about 48 as the kids head off to school. A very nice sunny and warm 75 as they head home on that PM bus ride. Otherwise, our warm up will continue right into Saturday, the first day of the Tucson Festival of Books. We're Talking near 80, wouldn't be surprised if we don't end up seeing our first 80 of 2019. If not tomorrow, maybe even on Saturday, holding on to the 70s right into the new week. Mark? All right, April, thank you. For more news and weather updates, head to our website, kgun9.com, and follow us on social media.